Okay, here on my crowded workbench, I have this little setup here. And this is going to become another amplifier. And this time an entirely homemade amplifier. So you can see I even made the circuit board by myself. <laughs> Used a lot of solder to make these lines. Uh, really. <laughs> Now here we have this um, power supply here, hooked up to the line. And uh, rectifier bridge, two capacitors, we are getting um, it's a split power supply of course, and we are getting um, 2 times 18 volts. And this goes into this circuit here. And, well, as you can see, the main part is still missing. And um, I'm just testing this circuit, the circuit itself, it w if it works. And it seems like it does work because um, nothing gets hot, nothing gets blown or something. So I think we can go and build in the chip. And here is the main part. A chip, the TDA2030A. It's a nice little chip, I really like it, and um, I have tons of these, as you can see, because um, I took apart an old uh, surround sound amplifier receiver thing a while ago that I found at the dump, and, and well, it was all done using these chips. Really nice chip here. It's hooked up to this much too big heatsink here uh, at the moment. And, uh, well, uh, let's put this, uh, okay, here is the typical amplifier with split power supply. And uh, this is what I built. And, um, as you can see, I had to add these two capacitors here. And the circuitry, they, it looks like they are not necessary, but they are. When I first hooked this up without these capacitors, it was just a very, very loud hum, which almost destroyed the speaker. And, um, well, I added these capacitors, and I also plan to add, it, uh, to add these two ones, which are also, um, looks like, like they're also not necessary. But, well, I first added these, and, um, tried it out again, and, oh, it works. So, let's plug this in, and um, listen to some music. Have it hooked up to this uh, super small Sony Walkman. So let's start this. Okay, here it goes. Ah, uh, come on. Well, as you can hear, it works. Now, this thing here is a little bit, um, seems like it is a little bit messed up. Well, as you can hear, it works. It should sound better with a better speaker. This here is a very crappy, cheap speaker. But as you can hear, it doesn't hum that loud. Normally, the things that I'm building are having a loud, loud hum. This one, even if it's not hooked up to anything, the hum is surprisingly quiet. So that's really nice. Let's reconnect that. And um, so I'm really satisfied with the result. Um, and uh, I do have several other amplifiers using this chip. This one, for example. But um, this is the first um, amplifier I built with this chip with my own circuit board. Um, the other amplifiers using this chip are, well, already had, a, had their circuit board they came out of old computer speakers or something. So, well, I think I'm going to build some more of these circuit boards here. 
And as you can see, I made another one. They're completely identical. I had no space on the circuit board for adding these two capacitors, so also these are hooked up like this. And uh, so now we have a stereophonic amplifier. And well, now I'm going to build these into a nice housing. And here it is, a nice wooden cabinet with both amplifiers in it, hooked up to some nice big heat sinks. You may remember these. I took these heat sinks out of the cheap sharp compact stereo, or back when I took them out, they were one heat sink, I cut them in the middle, and now they are two nice heat sinks for my amplifier. Here is the transformer and the first part of the power supply, the rectifier bridge. And here we have the power input. Right here on the back side. And well, now I'm going to continue working on this amplifier and then we'll take another look on it.